Item number SCP-4899. Index. Black body. Object class. Euclid. Keta. Special containment procedures. Show prior containment procedures. Dedicated Foundation satellites are to remain at the orbital coordinates. RA 4 hours 57 minutes 14 seconds. Declination positive 17 degrees 32 minutes 3 seconds. With no more than 1% deviation deemed acceptable from this designated position. Dedicated satellites are to remain in high Earth orbit. Intercepting, recording, and scrambling any transmissions that come from SCP-4899 to resemble cosmic background radiation. Foundation operatives embedded within radio-based observatories are to prevent the observation of SCP-4899, as well as the reception of any transmissions from the object. Amnestics, up to Class C, may be administered if necessary. Recorded transmissions from SCP-4899 may be beamed to Lunar Area 32 for decoding and storage. Revision Following Incident 4899-R, SCP-4899 has been upgraded to Keta classification. SCP-4899 has since stopped broadcasting any transmissions. As of this time, no means exist to properly contain SCP-4899. Image False color radio imaging of SCP-4899 Description SCP-4899 is a celestial object approximately 144 light-years from Earth. The object emits no visible light, instead broadcasting radio waves. Interestingly, Foundation observation via spacecraft, augmented with temporal sinks, has revealed that SCP-4899 is specifically broadcasting to Earth, with no other known areas of reception. SCP-4899's transmissions normally include footage of Earth, although the quality of these transmissions is abnormally high for such a distance. Furthermore, rather than being delayed by the speed of light, the object's broadcasts take place in real time, indicating that SCP-4899, or its creators, have access to faster-than-light technology. Since its discovery, SCP-4899 has been transmitting increasingly more aware footage of Earth, switching from no recognizable pattern of locations to metropolitan areas in 18, to national military bases in 19, to the locations of various heads of state in 19, and finally to foundation areas and sites in 20. How SCP-4899 has been able to identify foundation areas based entirely on external observation is currently unknown. Additionally, approximately half an hour after every transmission is intercepted, some sort of calamity will occur within the location captured by SCP-4899. These calamities range from small fires to entire containment breaches. As more images have been transmitted by SCP-4899, the scale of these disasters has steadily increased. Some of SCP-4899's transmissions can be found below. Addendum 4899-T Access Addendum 4899-T Clearance 3 oblique 4899 required the following are a series of still images taken from video footage transmitted to Earth by SCP-4899. Image Groom Lake AFB, an American military installation in Nevada. 34 minutes after this image was decoded, a building collapse occurred, causing casualties. Image. Site 66. 29 minutes after receiving this image, a fire broke out in the eastern wing, leading to evacuation of 30% of the site and casualties. Image. Storage Site 64. 36 minutes after this transmission was intercepted, 
an earthquake originating approximately three miles away caused casualties on the site. Image Area 6 28 minutes after the broadcast was decoded, a containment breach resulted in the termination of personnel. Image Area 96 40 minutes after this image was intercepted, Redacted. causing casualties. Image Received Significance unknown. Incident 4899-R Access Incident 4899-R. Clearance for oblique 4899 required. At GMT. SCP-4899 sent a final message. A video clip four seconds in length. The following image is a still from SCP-4899's last broadcast. No further transmissions have been sent from SCP-4899. By an 8 to 3 vote, the SCP-4899 analysis team has elevated SCP-4899's object class from Euclid to Keter.